Sullivan County denies an 89-year-old nun a few hundred dollars to help pay her heating bill, even though she's been receiving that help for years. Sister Ann Toomey, who lives alone in a trailer in Forestburg, didn't fill out the right paperwork, the county says. I was scuttled, so to speak. I was called by Liberty that I had to apply there this year, and not where I usually did, an office of the aging, where I always received kind, graceful, wonderful service. And up there, they refused me twice. They made me fill in all kinds of other papers. And only when Aileen Gunther and Kathy LaBuda got on my case, because I called their offices for help, did it change. And then they jumped around and they okayed me. A mother and her two sons, an adult and an autistic teen, must sleep in a car outside the Sullivan County Federation for the Homeless. The county won't pay for them to stay in a motel room for a few nights until their apartment is ready. Regulations say that the older one, who cared for the autistic teen, would have to stay somewhere else. Today is the pantry for the Federation for the Homeless. And um, that, means... that means that there's going to be every different kind of food over there, and we're going to hand it out to people that need it. And and if they want. Yeah. They want. And what else? And why do we come here today? To help out everybody. A man whose foot was partially amputated sleeps on a porch in the November cold because the county says he has an apartment, even though his roommate won't let the man, who has no money, stay there. These are just a few examples of how Sullivan County, with one of the state's higher poverty rates of about 18%, has at least temporarily hurt those who need help the most, the hungry, the homeless, and the heatless. This is according to the needy, those who serve them and stand up for them, and state and county elected officials. These examples of how help for the needy has been at least temporarily delayed are among the reasons why Sullivan County Department of Family Services Commissioner Randy Parker has been placed on paid administrative leave. But Parker has himself fired back, claiming his mandate from the county legislature was to eliminate fraud and waste, but that the county didn't give him the manpower to execute that mandate. He and his supporters point to an aggressive vetting of claims without adequate staff to do so as the reason why many had difficulty getting benefits. Check Sunday's Times Herald record for the full story. I'm Steve Israel for recordonline.com.